The Demon Slayer anime is set in Japan and is about demon hunters fighting Oni with katana. Much of the anime just draws on some obvious Japanese influences, and that's all the historical connections go for. Sometimes they use the old architecture as a reference or reference to Nobunaga. Demon Slayer, on the other hand, has its fair share of connections to Japanese history, more than most people would probably think. After all, it is one of the best Aniplex jobs. So, let's start the history lesson. Ten. Most anime in this style are heavily influenced by the Edo period. The age of samurai and impoverished citizens, where a man can only truly live with his sword. But, Demon Slayer, or Kimetsu no Yaiba, intentionally chose a 15-year period called the Taisho period. The Taisho period took place just after the aforementioned Edo period and had a very stark contrast between levels of civilization. Basically, this is why Tanjiro is so amazed by the bustling lights and technology in Tokyo. Still, a very neat stylistic choice by the authors to set the show in such a small era of history. 9. Most demon slayers don't hide their faces, some will wear mouth covers or shinobi hats, but are otherwise quite liberal with their disguise. But, the former water pillar Yurakadaki wears masks to hide both his face and the faces of his disciples. In fact, he make new ones for everyone. But, what people may not know is that he tends to use beings from Japanese folklore for his creations. For example, his own mask is based on the Tengu, a being who is now known to ward off evil spirits, just like the demon slayers try to do. 8. Tanjiro's Hanafuda earrings are a topic of much debate in the forums even now to this day. Why? 1. Because it is an incredibly popular anime so many eyes are on them. And 2. Because we are still not sure what the story behind them is. Obviously, they were worn by an ancestor of his or at least one other Breath of the Sun user, but we don't know what his design refers to or how they were passed down to him. Hanafuda cards are basically Japanese playing cards and most of them are flower-based. Apparently, Tanjiro's earrings are also flowers, even if they look like a rising sun, but they don't reference any known Hanafuda card designs that we could find. 7. Demon Hunter uniforms are based on the military attire of the time. Now, for anyone unfamiliar with Japanese history, the Demon Hunter's red shirts look like they are wearing school uniforms. What do we mean by red shirts? Well basically the nameless look alikes only to be killed by big name demons like the spider family. It turns out that these are not based on Japanese school uniforms, but on the military garb of the time. Even stranger, these school uniforms are actually modeled after these, and not the other way around. It's a smart decision from a stylistic point of view, because it allows the anime to have this high school vibe, while still being very obviously adult in context and level of violence. 6. We already talked about the background to the Taisho period, but we need to dig deeper into the stark contrast between the countryside and the city. We can't think of anything like that, our only other comparison is the progression of World War I, where the infantry started the war on horseback and ended it in tanks. Seriously, when Tanjiro and the crew go to town, they think the train is a monster to hunt, and the station police officers find them suspicious because people no longer carry katana. For a coal seller like Tanjiro, Tokyo could also be magical. 5. Wisteria flowers play an important role in Demon Slayer. These flowers are the only other things that can harm demons, but we had a hard time figuring out why. After all, they have no connection to the sun. Still, there is a Wisteria-based Hanavuta card, so that's something. But they are also known as immortal flowers that take over the area wherever they are planted. That's not all, later in the plot, Musin's story largely connects with a blue spider lily. These flowers also have a strong connection to Japanese history, as they are known as the flowers of death, and are commonly mistaken for flowers that grow next to graves. 4. Many people were incredibly surprised to see Musin's family in the previous episodes. But there is still so much we don't know about him or his demonic compatriots. 
We won't spoil too much, but as manga readers, we can say that this is not the only cover identity this monster has. But, what is most interesting to us at least is the obvious European-style dress clothes that he wears. Where would you get those clothes? Well, from Europe. Again, this dates back to the Taisho era, where Japan just opened its doors to the rest of the world, allowing influences like this to enter. Just another micro detail that makes the time frame feel real. 3. It turns out that much of the fashion sense in Demon Slayer is based on true Japanese history. For example, the ankle warmers that everyone seems to wear are called Kayahin, and they were padded for samurai. The two tude socks they all wear are known as tabi, a very traditional style of covering the feet for the time. And even the sandals are known as zori, and again they make sense for the time period. While samurai did not roam the countryside in green and black checkered jackets or pig masks, most normal clothing has historical significance. Even Izuko's strange leg wraps and overall outfit makes sense for living in the snowy mountains, as the Kamado family did. 2. The use of paper talismans for mysticism or magic is quite common in all parts of Asian history. But, with Japan in particular, Anmyodo is the prime example. The practitioners of this art would be called Anmyoji and would use certain rituals and symbols to fight against the supernatural. We can see his influence everywhere in anime, of course, and Demon Slayer is no exception. Tameo's assistant Yushiro uses similar principles and symbology with his blood demon art. We could not find any direct symbols that were taken from the Anmyoji texts, but it is obvious that Chinese Taoism is what the author referred to with this character. 1. Why are crows so common in anime? Haikyuu's tags are the Karasuno crows, tons of anime tags are compared to crows, and the entire strength of Demon Slayer communicates with the crows. Why? Well, in America we have pigeons, in Japan they have crows. Japanese crows are bigger than ours, smarter and more respected. Japan's relationship with crows is a bit more respectful than that of the West. So obviously Demon Slayer chose to use these avians as their telephone network, simply because it is common knowledge that they are everywhere, 